Good afternoon, guys. Good morning, good night. Whatever time of day it is you're watching this, we are back at it again in the Bible itself, in the scriptures. We are in Ephesians 6, um, 10. And um, I, I'm going to read this, and I'm going to go over what I thought about. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now, this is the one that I uh, stood out the most, uh, Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. We got people in high places like the president, um, prime ministers, all this stuff of different countries and nations. We're not fighting against each other. It's their principalities, their powers, and what they're doing. The whole um, drug, people who are on drugs get free Narcan or whatever. But people who are diabetic do not get free insulin and we have to pay for that. We're not fighting against them. It's the, princip it's the principality and the powers and what they're doing. If you ask me, people with diabetes should definitely get free insulin. People who are on dope should not get free Narcan so they can get off their high and normal. I think it, I, honestly, I think if you're going to save someone between a dope head and a diabetic, the diabetic, you should save. The dope head, they're choosing to do drugs. Diabetic people are not choosing to have their pancreas destroyed by their own blood cells. You know? So I just thought about this. And, you know, with presidents and leaders of this world, when wicked rules, the people of the earth shall suffer. I just wanted to make this quick video. I'm still super tired, but definitely put on God's armor, his shield, his sword. All of that, his protection, and he will give you the strength to stand up in this world. And if anything else, just to stand. So, that's all I had to say. Ephesians 6.12. <laughs> I, I, I just get so amazed. I just find new things every time I read this. And it, it is amazing. You know, and uh, also speaking on... Um, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about what I'm about to say. It's going to be in another video. So with that being said, comment below your thoughts. What did you think about it? What did you get out of it? What did you like about it? You know, what questions do you have? I might be able to answer it, but without further ado, goodbye.